Welcome back. The chances of survival have improved for one of the country's most threatened and rarely seen native birds. Blue ducks have been losing an unequal battle with stoats, but now there's evidence that a conservation campaign is making a difference. John McDermott reports. Bird hunting near the Milford track. And for dock staff, the signals are all good. They lead to a rare pair of blue ducks and their healthy two-month-old ducklings. They've been closely monitored since birth. Just four chicks. But for the Department of Conservation staff involved in this 13-month program, that's a real triumph. They're the first ducklings to reach, reach this size uh, probably in the last decade in these valleys. And here's why it's changed. A 40-kilometre-long line of traps 200 metres apart has reduced stoat numbers by nearly 450. If you see those young blue duck, they're the, uh, they're the ones that are saying thank you. Introduced to kill rabbits in the 1880s, stoats have taken a heavy toll on many native bird species. And as these nest cam pictures show, they still are. The nesting blue duck outside the Clinton Valley Trapping Control Zone is killed in a ferocious attack, its eggs destroyed. For dock staff, it's ample proof of the need to extend the control area. Yeah, we're keen to see it implemented over other catchments. At least three Kiwi chicks also owe their lives to the stoat eradication program. Without stoat control, we expect to lose around about 90% of these chicks. Along with the blue ducks, national icons now with a better chance of survival. John McDermott, One News. Harry Potter's magic spells appear to be losing ground against Peter Jackson's epic movie, The Lord of the Rings. It's already raked in hundreds of millions of dollars around the world, while here at home the movie's smashed the opening weekend record. The Rings is not only beating the Harry Potter movie, it's also winning the battle for spin-off merchandise sales. Sonia Wilson reports. New Zealanders, it seems, can now be split into two groups. Those who have seen The Lord of the Rings and those who haven't. Or haven't yet, as the case may be. In its first four days in Kiwi cinemas, Rings has raked in more than $2 million, breaking the previous record held by Harry Potter at $1.5 million. Given that an adult ticket costs around $12, that suggests that more than 177,000 Kiwis have already paid a visit to Middle Earth, and by the looks of things, box office traffic is showing no signs of slowing down. We've had a queue out the door from 9 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. This is five days in a row, and sometimes it's out the door and around the corner. And movie tickets aren't the only thing selling. I'd like to be here for Christmas. Middle Earth merchandising is in full swing. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, we've got a lot of stock, and it's going well. And if toys aren't your thing, check this out. From Malaysia, a complete Lord of the Rings chess set that doubles as wine glasses. Cheers. But for those looking for something to do after present opening tomorrow, how about the movies? They're screening all day. Santa or no Santa, um, all our Christmases are coming at once for this film. Sonia Wilson, One News. Sport now, the most talked about woman in tennis was on court just hours after arriving in Auckland this morning. Anna Kornikova has already proved to be a huge draw card to next week's ASB Bank Classic and she's determined to get back to top form. Jackie Hudson reports. Accompanied by her usual contingent, coach, masseuse and her mum, Anna Kornikova's first stop was a brief visit to a McDonald's before hitting the courts. She's been sidelined most of the year with a foot injury and her ranking has fallen to 74 from a high of 8. I'm really excited to start the new season and I've been working hard the last month and, you know, trying to get back and uh, my foot feels good so far. Training hard has paid off in her past as well as in her most recent wins on the court. Well, she's a great player. She hasn't won a tournament, she hasn't won a major, but she's beaten all of the top players and she just beat Capriati about a week or so ago in an exhibition tournament. Anna is almost better known for her off-court promotions and her tennis skills have been heavily criticised. An unfair criticism according to one of our top tennis players. She's such a draw card and she's a tall poppy and people often like to, to cut tall poppies down. 
But the only direction Corner Cobra is looking is up. Her goal is getting back to the top ten. And the first step is the ASB Bank Classic, starting Monday. It's more exciting, I guess, because it is the first tournament of the season. So you kind of feel like, you know, you start over and, and, and everything. You know, like New Year's resolution. <laughs> For tournament organisers, they have their own wish list. Kornikova surviving until finals day, giving them and the fans value for money. To cricket and the Black Cap selectors have made a couple of changes ahead of the second test against Bangladesh starting on Boxing Day. Mark Richardson will open the batting with Matt Horn, while Lou Vincent has been moved to first drop. And both sides had their final practice sessions in Wellington today. Corrine Ambler reports. It's up! The Black Caps checked out the Basin Reserve this afternoon. Spirits and expectations high after last week's pounding of Bangladesh. There's an edge and El Sharia goes. We certainly want to win the match. Uh, we want to win it well. How long it takes, we're not sure. The new Kiwi coach pleased, but says there's still room for improvement. Probably lost too many wickets early on in the game. And also our bowling early on wasn't quite as good as we would like it to be. And that's where the changes in Wednesday's lineup are. Fast bowler Chris Drum replacing pace man Chris Martin. Feeling uh, pretty fresh and uh, I've got good rhythm at the moment. The ball's coming out well. It's swinging, so uh, I'll be looking to just carry on with that. Bangladesh also getting some practice in today. The guys are generally a bit impatient because all their cricket up until oh, 18 months ago probably was... Uh, 50 over one day cricket so it's still a bit of a learning process about this five day game. The Capitals only had 75 hours sunshine this month, the result a soft pitch.